Hi and welcome to Natural Aesthetics. Before we start, I'd just like to ask you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. If you enjoyed the video or find it useful, then please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, then just leave them in the comments section below and we'll get back to you. And check out my social media, I've got an Instagram page, link is in the description box below. If you've got any questions about online training, email naturalaesthetic at outlook.com. It's the first day of training for week two. The intensity was much higher than what it was last week. Back in the swing of things now, feeling good. So I'm going to intervene and just explain what I'm doing here. This is 145 kilos back squat. First time I've used a belt in, in a couple of years. The reason why I'm using the belt, at the end of the day, it can enable your legs to handle more load. More load is more muscle mass. Really, if you're concerned about building the biggest legs possible and you're using squats to do that, then you want to be using as much load as possible. And the belt doesn't help the quads. It helps the core, the lumbar, stomach region to allow you to for that area not to be a weak point, not to break the chain, if you will. So if you use a belt, you're not bottlenecking your quads. Um, so I've done the whole belt of squatting, and while I think it's beneficial, um, I think it's now time to return back to the belt and focus on lifting maximal loads. So that's what I'll be doing going forwards. And I did five reps on the first set, then I was gonna call it a day and do another set of five. I said to myself, I'm going to do seven reps. I'm going to add another couple of reps in, push the intensity up a bit, and I did that. Then the following set, I did nine reps. It goes to show you that there's always more. The intensity can be higher. You know, I was would have been quite happy at five reps because it was more than what I did last week, even considering the belt. Um, but you know, it, it shows that I can train harder. And the intensity isn't where it needs to be. I think for too long I've been. Focusing on the, on the science and you know cautiously, progressively overloading, trying not to get injured. And really, at some point, I've just got to go back to how I was training before, balls to the wall, getting as close to failure on as many sets per workout as possible. Um, you know, rather than purposely leaving reps in the bag because you're thinking about progressively o overloading and allowing for momentum, just go all out. You know, if I had to be as big as possible in three months time, if someone had a gun to my head and asked me to put on five kilos um, or you know 30 kilos on the squat, I wouldn't be faffing around leaving five reps in a bag, three reps in a bag, um, and allowing myself to gain strength as the weeks progressed. You know, I'd be going all out every single week. You know, as many sessions as possible, as many reps and sets as possible. That's what it, you know, if that's what it takes, then so be it. Yeah! Give me a thing, why you're so 
Yeah!